What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video and as you can see I have the infamous Lexus Jay-Z motor right here and this is the first time y'all probably have seen it because it's the first time we have seen it since Texas 2K and uh, yeah he got it all built back up because he did so what did you do to it? Bob got yeah. broke, messed up the piston so rebuilt it oh well <laughs> rebuilt it, replaced the piston, got the head fixed all new bronze valve guides for yeah. rebuild basically but I came over here because he said he needed help putting his starter on. He did that before I got here. And he told me he needed to put the harness on before he could put it back in the car. And we still need to do the uh, spark plugs. That's what he's doing right now. He's gapping the spark plugs. And for all of y'all that don't have this little neat, neat little tool he has, uh, who, who you got this from? I got it from Buck Lamont. Buck Lemoyne. Well, basically all you do, you see these little pins or tabs or whatever. Well, you're just gonna pick whichever size you wanted your spark plug to be gapped. And then, like this little spin tool right here, it'll spin and basically gap the tool for, gap the plug for you. But while he's doing that, I'm legit just waiting because I just took the coils out of the motor and we're about to try to see how quick we can get this thing in the car because he has to work today for two. We finally got the harness on the motor and right now we're uh, putting it on the engine hoist, getting it up there. We gotta jack the car up so we'll have some room under it to bolt everything up once we get the engine in the car. So I'm about to record that and then we'll see how far along we can get. Alright, so this is as far as we got. We got the motor set in, but it's not actually set in. It took us forever to try to get these motor mounts to mount up in the holes right. We still didn't get to do that because the hoist that we were using ended up being too small. It was a one ton hoist and I think he needed like a three ton or something like that. But that was longer. Yeah, uh, it ended up being too short, like I said. But this is where we're gonna wrap this up for today because the sun is starting to go down a little bit. Mikey has to go to work. And I need to be getting to my grandmother's house. this video didn't turn out to be such a fail because uh the engine hoist like I said was too small at Mikey's house so we're gonna have to try to tackle that another day and uh if you can see I do have some goodies in the car with me so uh yeah that's gonna be on the next video so stay tuned for that if you aren't subscribed to the channel you might want to go ahead and do so because like I said I do have these goodies that I will be throwing on and y'all probably know what they are if you don't then Stay tuned. But I'm about to head to my grandmother's house now because we're throwing something for Kane for his birthday. Happy birthday, Kane. Tomorrow for sure. Just made it back over here to Mikey's house. There's the monster. It's actually a couple days later. And looks like he got the motor all set in. He bought the engine hoist, a bigger engine hoist from his job and got the motor set in, ran the harness on through. And looks like he's finishing up. So we might end up hearing this thing start up today if the E85 wants to act right because it's kind of chilly out here but uh what all you gotta do now Mikey? Uh make everything about ready start it up. Oh yeah? Yeah. So you just about to like, charge the battery up? Yeah. Put this on here because the battery 
life was gonna drain down trying to crank it. Oh, I got you. So what you want me to do? Nothing? Uh, hold on, shit, I got these backwards. Um, I mean, if you want to, you, will, you can hit the key if you want. I mean, also, like, ain't nothing else to do. You know, put your cooler in, cooler in, oh, some um, cooler in. It ain't gonna, yeah, I ain't gonna let it warm up enough to where the uh, thermostat is. Okay, you put your oil in. Yep. Oh, well. Like, we about to start this thing up now then. <laughs> Make sure the view real tight. See if we got fuel. Something spraying. First start up. Let's see how it is. Hopefully. All right, take two. Yeah. Be a little too cold to start. Might be. That's what happens whenever you got a car that runs 100% E85 all the time. It just might be a little bit too cold to start. I don't know though. It might start up one of these days or one of these hours. <laughs> it sounded a little bit like it wanted to, uh, like it wanted to start. It was turning over faster. Yeah, at first it was. If you mean it from the battery yet. Yeah. But it sounded like I heard a little, a little, a little spark. Not spark like, you know. Take three.